Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I've got a great hack that will truly electrify your markers and highlighters. Yes, today we're truly gonna put the light in the highlighter. And yeah, I do mean that quite literally as you look at the list of parts that you're gonna need here. I will also list these in the description below so you don't have to jot them down if you wanna make one. In a previous video, I cleaned out a highlighter to turn it into a whistle, and we're gonna take a similar approach here. The first thing you need to do is carefully get the bottom out of this because we need to put that back intact in a little while. As you see in the picture, you don't have to use a highlighter, you can use a marker. The key is just finding one that has an end cap that the top of the cap itself actually fits into. That's gonna be an important part at the end of this project. In the second step of this build, we're gonna take that end cap and put four holes in the bottom. If you flip it around, you'll see there's a little ridge down inside of there, and we want all four of those holes to go down through inside. We're gonna actually separate these so that it fits like the inset picture as you see here where the red dots are. There's a lot of different ways you can go about making the holes in the bottom of this. I'm taking a T-pin and just forcing it through at this point, but there are some easier ways, including using a drill or taking your pin or nail and heating it up until it's red hot. Guess what, you try this approach and it's gonna just melt its way right through the plastic. So do it carefully so that you don't burn yourself, but also so that you don't melt too much of your plastic. We've got a great little quick step to prepare the wires. You just twist them around a nail like this and you can actually form a coil out of it. This is gonna make it much more convenient for installing in the pen body when we're ready to go to that step. Now you wanna take one of the green wires where you left about two inches of that eight inch wire stripped at the end. Feed one of those wires up through one of the holes around and back down through the other. Then take some pliers and put a little crimp in that. All you wanna do is stick up above the bottom of the inset of that bottom cap. Once you've got it through there, go ahead and twist it back. You need this wire to make a good connection and you're gonna to need to make sure that it stays out of the way of the other green wire, which you're gonna slide in right next to it in the exact same way. If you look at the inset picture, it'll show you what it should look like when you're done. When you look at that cap from the other side, the wires that you have through it will have a gap between both sections where you put them through the holes. That's the way you want it to look. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and take our third wire and attach it to the positive lead on the LED. If you feel like you might need to understand a little bit more about LEDs or you need more comfort with the basics of LEDs, check out the videos I have linked in the description below. Once you have your positive wire twisted in place, cover it up with a little bit of electrical tape. With that done, grab the bottom cap with the two sections of green wire, stretch one of them out a little bit, and connect that wire to the negative lead on the LED. With that done, go ahead and wrap that one up with a little bit of electrical tape too, and then take both sets of wires and tape them together to keep everything firm and in place. Make sure there's no point at which the wires from each side are exposed to each other. With that said, we're gonna go back and make sure that our wire setup is at least as long as the length of the highlighter itself. Now we're taping two button cell batteries together. Each is 1.5 volt, and because we're putting them positive to negative, it's gonna add up the voltage to a total of three volts, which is perfect for the LED that I'm using. Since we'll be taping the wires directly to the battery, I like to add a few extra little crimps into them to increase the surface area in contact with the battery. That makes sure that it doesn't jiggle loose a little bit, and then I bend it over in an L shape at the end and put that over the edge of the battery. That way, it doesn't pull free very easily. Laying the positive lead wire across the positive side of the battery and the negative to the negative, we hold everything in place and then take a little bit more electrical tape and just wrap it firmly around there. The nice thing about electrical tape is you can stretch it a little bit, which gives it a nice snug fit. We can then go back and take the screwdriver and make a contact point between the two wires that go in that end cap and make sure that everything lights up. This is where you get to see why I like to use solid core wire for a project like this, because as you put this down inside the pen body, you'll notice you want the wires to stay stiff and hold that LED pointed right at the open end of the body of the marker itself. This way you can get it positioned well and aim that LED right out the tip. That's how you're gonna get the best bright shine. You remember how when we tested it, all we had to do was make a contact between the two wires in that end cap to make everything work. Well, we're gonna turn the basic cap of the pen into our connection. And we're gonna do that with a little bit of foil tape. I picked up mine at Harbor Freight, but I've also seen it in all hardware stores and even the dollar store. This foil tape operates much like a sticker, which means it has a covering on the back that you have to remove to expose the adhesive part. 
Put the adhesive part down inside and then push it against the inside of the cap and fold it back a little bit. This is going to make it a bit thicker on the inside of the cap, so if it is a snug fit to begin with when you put it on the bottom of the marker, you may want to sand down the inside of the cap just a little bit before you put the tape in place. Once that's done, go ahead and put the tape all the way around, making sure that the foil connects to each other all the way. This is going to make us an electrical connection when we add it to the bottom of the marker. Check to make sure that you overlapped or touched just enough to have the contact all the way around, but not so much that it gets really, really thick. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and fold it over and trim off the excess. I wanted to get a little bit more of a clean look, so I went back and trimmed off another little thin piece of the foil tape and wrapped it around the tip. I also found that this adds an extra little bit of durability to the foil tape that we put down on the inside as well, and it just makes it look a little bit more of a clean finished look. To fire this bad boy up, all you have to do is take that pen cap and push it in the bottom. At first it's going to be a little stiff, but it'll eventually loosen up a little bit. But once it makes contacts with those wires in the bottom, it's going to turn on. And what do you know, you get one heck of a good spot of light out of the tip. Plus, the color of the marker itself gives a nice glow off to the sides. I was really pleased with the way this came out. After this build, you quite literally have a pen light. You can even have fun changing it up with some different colors of LEDs and working with different degrees of brightness of LEDs. Have fun! Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.